Hello and welcome to a little tutorial on how to sign up for Google My Business. Really, really important to get this right and, and be as accurate as possible. So we're going to do this with, we're going to call it Yakadanda Functional Medicine. And then it's going to say, what's the name of the business? It did a search for my business and couldn't find it. If it found it, it would say, is this your business? Claim this business. Now, if it asks you to claim the business, You'll, you'll notice on the business uh, listing that there'll be information like a phone number and an address. If you don't have neither either of those, access to either of those, well, then you've got to go back to that business listing and that's a whole other game you're going to be into. You're going to have to make edits to that business listing and then hopefully see that those edits have been changed. So anyone with a Google account can, can suggest an edit to a Google business listing. Um, whether or not those uh, those uh, suggestions go through really depends on how long you've had your account, how much of a trustworthy account you've got, because if you make a false claim, you can get into a lot of trouble. So, um, yeah, so if you find the business and you find that you don't have access to the address or the telephone number, you'll have to go through a series of uh, steps that they'll ask you to go through, which can be quite quite annoying but the smartest thing to do is to go you use your uh, google account go and look for that listing on google maps and actually make some edits to it and the edits will automatically update unless the business owner which is you um disputes those especially if you've got a trusted account you've had an account for quite a while okay but anyway let's just say this is a new business name what is the name of your business yakadanda functional medicine as an example It'll ask me for um, what category. So I'm going to say, um, let's just, there's quite a lot of categories and I'll, I'll provide a link to a list of all the categories that are available because it's good to have those. Um, but please do not put yourself in a category where you are not, you do not provide a service. Because, and this has happened to my cl a client of mine before, is they try to pr pretend, not pretend, but they, they added a, a category that were, wasn't actually a functioning category of their business and someone probably a competitor made a complaint um, and they actually they were down for about four weeks and when considering how much business this gives to your business you don't want that so let's look at look at uh, we'll go for medical practice to begin with medical uh, clinic let's go over there you can change this later you can add like a, 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 a quite a few but you can only add the ones that are there. You can't type your own in. If they're not, don't exist, they don't exist. Now, this location will show up on Google Maps and Google Search when customers are looking for your business. Do you want to add a location to customers can visit you, like your store and office? So if you've got a practice that people can visit or you're in, at, a, at a location where people can actually come and sit down and talk with you, then you will want to uh, say yes. Okay, so we're going to say yes, because most of my clients and medical practitioners do have an office. Some of them do work from home. The individuals that, that sell their services online, they do work from home. Um, but we're going to, for this purpose, we're going to say yes. Now, where is the address? Now, I'm going to have to make something up here and get... So what I've done is I've added an address that's not actually my address, but because I'm going to cancel this at the end. So uh, what's the address? This is your address. So B, this would be a street address and this would be a unit or office number, or whatever, okay? Now, do you also serve customers outside of this location? Yes. Now, you can't say the rest of the world, but you could say these sort of things. Add all these areas. So you can add multiple ones. Um, North... Miami, North Miami Beach, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, best to have a list, or maybe go to a map in another window and look at all the di all the areas that you serve, and go for it. Okay, uh, you can look at all the different suggestions. You could cross out some suggestions, you know, um, because a lot of functional medicine practitioners are cash only. Some of the the uh, the uh, less affluent areas are, uh, or as um, one of the comedies in Australia would say, effluent areas, uh, that you might want to discount them, but it's up to you. Uh, you can include all of them uh, or not. So the final thing is, um, 
putting in your details like your phone number. Now, this is probably going to catch me out here. Um, um, I can just say that, get a bit free website based on it. But I'm, this, is, this phone number is going to catch me out, I imagine. Okay. Well, it hasn't yet, but uh, I'm going to delete this listing once it is. But there you go. That's basically how you set up a Google My Business account. Now, from here, you're going to have a lot of stuff, and I'm going to go to a, a different episode. It's going to go through all of this. Um, but from here, that you're going to have a lot of information uh, that you can add from here. So uh, basically, the, sorry, the final step is the verification. Now, if I was already in the database and I had a phone number, it would probably call my number and it'd get instantly verified. You know, um, so y you would, you know, I'm not going to go through with this because that's just wasting um, money and, and time and effort from, a, obviously, it's just a system that does it. But this, this, in this, you might get the option of a phone number where they'll call you and verify with the phone number. Or more than likely, it's going to be a postcard. I've probably done about 50 of these, 100 of these maybe, I don't know, over the over the years uh, for my clients. And only a handful, less than 10% have been a, by phone call. Um, so you will get a, um, a, a postcard. Now, postcard will come to you and make sure you, I mean, I know we get a lot of junk email, but it'll be a, it'll be a postcard size postcard with a verification code on it. Once you've got that verification code, log back into your Google account and verify, okay? Um, the reason why you want to do it straight away because it'll take two or three days before it's up live and you want to make sure that uh, you get that up as soon as possible. I mean, this is a really critical part of your local SEO and your local uh, uh, um, a business. And uh, for most medical practitioners, most of their business is local. So it's critical that we... Yeah, that you do this. Um, um, and if you need any help, you can contact Yakadanda. We're, we're only happy to help you and guide you through it. Uh, we even give a, a free initial consultation to guide you uh, all the way um, through it. And it's, there's no charge for that service. So if you do need help, don't be afraid to contact us. Uh, we're not going to start selling this stuff. I mean, obviously, we'll, we would love to build a relationship with you, but it's not going to, it's going to be basically making sure you've got this right for yourself. And it's a free service that we offer not only to our clients, but also to any medical practitioner, okay? So, yeah, so uh, make sure your information is correct and then send it through. And that's one thing I'm going to concentrate on after this episode, in the next episodes, is making sure your information is correct. There's times to be a little bit flamboyant about what you do and who you do it for, and there's times not to be. If you want to have your Google business listing up forever in a day, then you make sure your information is accurate and you make sure that you respond and your content, you're creating content on there, you're responding to reviews and things like that. But we'll talk about those sort of things in later episodes. So for now, um, have a look at, uh, I'm, I'm going to put it in the, uh, in the, uh, the business post, I'm going to put a link to uh, all of the, uh, all of the different listing categories. And the smart thing to do is to probably put that into a spreadsheet and then mark all the ones that you want to add your business to and make sure again that uh, that, that information is accurate. But in the meantime, you'll get a postcard from Google. Um, it'll have a four or five, four, I think it's four or five digit code on it. You, you log back into Google My Business or Google.com, uh, business.google.com and you verify that code through there. Okay, so thank you again, and I look forward to chatting to you in the next episode.